All right guys, how are you guys doing today? Today I wanted to show you guys about aggregation or bonding. We're gonna make a connection here. I'm gonna have, have two 10 gig connections. As you guys can see right here, these two switches are connected to each other back to the router at 10 gig. Uh, I'm gonna make a 20 gig connection out of it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. It's gonna be pretty awesome. You're gonna need some other cables. So whatever way you got your 10 gig, your of course your switch probably has to be a smart switch you know or a managed i mean sorry managed switch you could say too uh unmanaged probably not going to be able to do this i probably i guarantee you actually aren't going to be able to do this probably so uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you on a unify switch it doesn't have to be unify other switches can do this too but i'm going to show you how to take two connections and bond make them one connection so they're just going to be like boom come one and i'm going to get the double the speed of both and for upload and download it's going to be awesome so I'm gonna make a 20 gig because I have two 10 gigs switches and they have 10 gig ports on them. So I'm gonna combine the two ports in each one to make a 20 gig connection. Like it's a 20 gig cable going across. So um, what I'm gonna do first is you always wanna start with uh, you know, the switch that you can easily get to. So you have a switch at the bottom and, you, and it's connected to a switch that's above it or you know, if I, whatever switch the way you log into it, if it goes from one switch to the other, like a router's up here at the top. I have my 10 gig switch as my manager, everything big and stuff, and all the other switches plug into. Then I have my PoE switch. I need to adjust the PoE switch first and not this one because if I change something on here, I didn't change it on there. When this is done, it's not going to be able to connect to the one right here. So I have to change the bottom one and work my way up. That's what I got to do. And then vice versa, I got to uh, do the same thing again. I work from my, I mean, not vice versa. I got to work when I want to change it back. I got to start from the bottom. We're working our way up again, so I'm gonna show you both. So first, let's make the connection. I'm gonna go to my 24 port, uh, PoE the Pro. We're gonna go to ports, go port management, and I'm gonna select any one of these. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm gonna select switching, and from switching, I'm gonna select aggregate. I'm gonna select which port I want to do it with. Well, it's only gonna let me do it with 16 because the switch I'll do with 16. Hit apply. Well, not just this switch. I think other ports here and here. You can. Nope. See, like these ports, I cannot do these together. Nope. Let's see if these ones. These are different. These are the uh, PoE plus plus ports. So let's go to if I can do one of these and this. Oh, actually, no. Wait, I just go here. That's right. Let's go to. Oh yeah, switching. Yeah, I can't aggregate. I can aggregate too. Forgot. You don't select both now. Do do do. Switching. Yeah, I can aggregate too. So I can create a you know 2.5 gig connection. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so, but we're doing these ones. What's happening? We're going back to the main menu now. It's getting ready. Unless I switch up here, I'm not going to be able to see this switch. So I got to go up to the 16 now, the one that's above it. Port management. Here are these two ports going down. See, the Switch Pro is going into this one right here. This is from the Switch Pro. Both of these are going into the Switch Pro right now, but it's just showing. So I'm going to click 8. We're going to select aggregate. I'm going to select 10. That's the one I want. Now these two are gonna come over. Eight and ten are together. This one blew it out. Let me use this one either. That's why they used to think they used to have it with the um, the dang it the you can do three connections or something like that because this one goes out another one every time I do it now. So I'm, I'm depending on where I put it. So I'm wondering if yeah I'm thinking you can. So it'd be pretty interesting. But yeah. So uh, let's go to back over here and there it is. 20 gig connection right there that 20 gigs the 10 gig switch is still going to say 10 gig because that's going up to the main router and it's still getting a 10 gig link it's uplink to the uh, in the network rack is still a 10 gig uplink this uplink on this switch is 20 it has a 20 connection up the other one only has a 10 connection up so yeah but beastly let's say like oh that doesn't matter well if I have another, like a Synology or another NAS or server or whatever, and I put another NIC in there, bond those, bond it in here, I have another 20 gig device that's on this network. So I go to here and I go to my port management. Let's just say we put this one and I go to switching to aggregate and this, I can have a NAS in here. So then I have a 20 gig connection to uh, a NAS or to a server, then my computer, let's pretend that one we just made this one isn't to the switch above, it's just to a computer or something. That means I have a 20 gig to that, 20 gig to that for editing my files and everything or offloading a lot of stuff from my Plex library or just whatever I wanna do, I got the band extra bandwidth now. 
You might have to buy some more cables. You will have to buy some more cables. It just depends. Like in this one right here, I'm showing you. I have <clears throat> two SFE pluses, but one's running fiber and the other one's running copper. But they're making the 20 connection together, so it really doesn't matter. Um, now I don't know. Uh, you can still do these ones on this switch too. This switch, I just love it. This switch is so cool. These are RJ45 ones. Like I said, slick off. We can do this. Aggregate. I can aggregate 20 gig RJ45 if I want to do that too with this switch. I love this switch. That's why I got it. But yeah, got a 20 gig connection right there. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to bring it back down to 10 gig. So I'm gonna start again at the PoE 24. I'm gonna go back to port, port management. I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna go back down to uh, switching. Just hit apply. Boom. Go back to my unified devices. Pro again. Ports. Port management. Go back to this one. This is the main ports. They're all here. Eight and ten is in the little logo right there. We go back to aggregate to switching and hit apply. Right there. There we go. Now it's applied. Now we'll go back. And in a minute here, we should see it switching back to 10. Because <clears throat> they're both running on only their 10 now. So, one, three, two. Let's see. Here we go. <clears throat> but anyhow, I guys, it's just, it's awesome. And it's, kinda, it's just so cool to see the number. I know sometimes people, you know us IT people are just crazy people that are obsessed with technology. Sometimes we don't care. We just want to see that freaking 20. We want to see that 40. We want to see that 100. We don't care. We're just like, yes, I feel better about it. Even though I can't use it, I feel cool. You know, so I, I know it sounds stupid, but everybody has their niche. You know what I mean? But look, there it is, 10 and 10. Hey, I do you guys videos for you guys to help you guys out, make it easy. But I hope this, you guys like it. I love it. And my friend, his network, he has 20 everything. 20 up, 20 up, 20 up. And then he has his NAS 20, his Beast PC Threadripper uh, 20, uh, connection, 20 gig connection to that, all fiber. Everything's fiber in the cab. It's that 20 gig. If you guys look in the videos, I'll put a link up, up here. But yeah, he's definitely running all the 20. And we did this for him and he just loves it. But uh, hey like comment and hit that subscribe button it helps me every time i promise you guys that subscribe button ooh, I get excited for every one of you guys but hey the most important thing is that you and your family are having a rock and rolling day peace out have a great rest of your week and stay cool or stay hot depending on where you're at in this world so rock on have a wonderful rest of your day